water is the most essential substance to life on Earth. It is also the most abundant compound on the Earth's surface, covering 70% of the planet. And people need water for survival, for health, for development, for hope. Yet today, nearly 2 billion people around the world live without access to adequate, clean water. And more than 3.5 million people die of waterborne illness every year. In fact, four children die of water-related diseases every minute. Even in developing cities, millions of people are forced to drink bottled water because the available tap water is often unsafe for drinking. As the world's population grows from 7 billion in 2011 to a projected 9 billion by 2035, the demand for fresh drinking water will increase at an unprecedented rate. When the effects of industrialization and climate change are taken into account, the number of people living in water-stressed areas is expected to grow to nearly 5 billion by 2035. In 1961, John F. Kennedy famously stated, anyone who can solve the problems of water will be worthy of two Nobel Prizes, one for peace and one for science. Yet 50 years later, we as a society are no closer to solving this crisis. Until recently, people have primarily gotten their water from natural sources, such as rivers, lakes, and wells. As those sources become more scarce, the only long-term solution to the problem is seawater desalination. And it is being done today through technologies such as reverse osmosis and flash distillation. Massive amounts of seawater can be turned into potable water. However, these solutions are too expensive to be widely implemented and are extremely energy intensive. In fact, they are so energy intensive that the large scale desalination plants must be built next to centralized power plants, requiring major investments and extensive infrastructure to deliver the water to the consumer. Consequently, this water cannot be easily delivered to those living in rural areas who are most in need. Studies have shown that if these conventional solutions are not drastically improved, seawater desalination will outstrip the world's energy resources by 2035. What the world needs now is a new solution, a real solution, one that is low cost, one that uses minimal fuel and can be used where there is no energy grid, one that is sustainable, scalable, and modular with the ability to be placed in the precise location where people need it. So we asked ourselves, how? And then we had an eye-opening idea, a lightning bolt of inspiration, an epiphany. The places that need water the most are also the places that receive the most sunlight. And solar energy is the only source with enough abundance to solve the global water crisis. But to make a solar-powered solution cost-effective and simple, old-fashioned technologies won't cut it. Other technologies like photovoltaic panels, while effective at generating electricity from sunlight, were clearly not the answer. So we invented our own, Concentrated Solar Thermal Distillation. Introducing the Epiphany E3H, the world's first self-contained, concentrated solar power water desalination and purification system. Here's how it works. Our reflective parabolic dishes concentrate sunlight back to a focal point, where we achieve temperatures up to 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That heat is transferred to a distillation unit where contaminated water is vaporized, leaving behind all impurities. The water vapor is then recondensed, resulting in pharmaceutically pure water, which far exceeds even the most stringent drinking water standards. It's that simple. Epiphany's patent-pending technology 
allows the E3H to use more than 85% common off-the-shelf materials, which results in a system that is simple, inexpensive, and easy to manufacture. And since there are no consumable components, maintenance requires nothing more than a basic tool set and a scrub brush. In fact, one E3H unit is designed to provide enough water for up to 500 people for as long as 20 years. And since the E3H is remote enabled, Epiphany can monitor the system's health and send automated cleaning and maintenance alerts to the system's owner anywhere in the world. Finally, the global solution to bring clean water to the world for people who depend upon it to develop, to work, to live. We envision a world with less poverty, with less disease, with less struggle. We envision a world with more opportunity, more hope, and more freedom to dream.